Hey guys, it's Yvette and welcome to Vlogmas Day 28. <laughs> I'm going to make it through this whole month. I'm going to do every single day in December. Like, I thought that that's what Vlogmas was. I've had a couple people say bonus points for doing past Christmas, but I kind of thought it was an all month thing. Anyway, I'm going to do it all month. <laughs> and, um... It, I, I'm totally ready to like open this fat quarter and see what it is. Um, so let's get to this advent calendar for cotton cuts. Okay, there it is. I gotta pull out day 28. Whoop. <laughs> and here we go. Day 28. I got so many bags of M&Ms up here. I got like a couple from Christy. I had one that was already up here. I mean, seriously, I'm going to be all in the M&Ms for a long time. And here is day number 28. <laughs> all right, let's get it going. By the way, Jelly Bean is uh, sleeping up there. It is a little late. It's almost 10 p.m. the night before the 28th. <laughs> um, okay, this is interesting. Make your dreams happen. Yes, ma'am. I'm a trying. <laughs> okay. And this is, here's the next uh, fabric. Now, I <laughs> the one from the 27th was, to me, I, if you guys remember, I said that it looked to me sort of like the pants that your grandpa wore for like special occasions. And so this is not that, but sort of reminiscent of that fabric where it's got that I, I can't even explain it look you guys it's gray but it's got this metallic gray shot through it and I really love it I mean I'm, I'm telling you I I do love it I just I don't remember ever seeing fabric look like this before do you know what I mean because it's it's quilters cotton fabric um I, I don't know, but I, I, I super love it. I hope there's selvage here so I can tell you what it is. I think. Okay, it's Robert Kaufman. It's, it's in silver, so I'm trying to read it. Something linen metallic. Design number 14476. Uh, Studio RK... So Studio RK. So it looks like it's a Robert Kaufman um, designed it. Like just the design house. Um, something linen metallic. That's what it is. I would, sh look, I'm sh I'll show it to you, but you're not going to be able to read it. Because I had to go some weird, well, maybe the lights are helping you to be able to sort of read that. Can you read that? Kind of try to turn it a little bit. You can definitely see the Robert Kaufman part. And this Made in Japan part. Anyway, I, you guys, I really like it. I'm going to have to go and see if I can figure out what the beginning of the linen metallic part is. Because I think it's also the linen that I'm really liking. Um, it's, it's very nice. It's very nice. It looks festive, which is what I, I really like about it. It's it's very much a, you could totally use this for Christmas and it would be very festive. And I like that. Okay, so there's our fat quarter, and I can give you a teeny tiny little update. Um, tonight I did see, we actually saw um, little Sweetie twice today. I didn't see her in the morning. Jim saw her and fed her breakfast, and so um, then I think it was... Well, I had, I had fed the kids dinner 
And then a little bit later, I came down and she was there. And the kids were in the window, like, you know, communicating with her or whatever. So I fed her dinner. And then I came back upstairs. I tried getting her to come in. She wouldn't come in. Okay, no worries. Um, so I came up here. I was sewing. I was working. And then I went back downstairs to get another cup of coffee. And I noticed that she was still out there. Now, normally she will like eat and run, right? Um, but she had finished all her food and she was still sitting there. So I opened the door. A little crack like you know, like this much. And I was talking to her and um, trying to get her to come in. And I've got, of course, Spooky Scout and Jelly Bean, who are like, you know, the welcome wagon. <laughs> one of them's trying to get her to come in. The other one's, you know, just wants to jump and play with her. Um, I'll let you figure out which. And so... Um, you sometimes what will happen is if she stays like that and doesn't run off, it's because she's still kind of hungry. And she knows that if I see her and her bowl is empty and she's still there, that I will give her a little more food. So that's what I did. Um, I usually like for her, if she comes for breakfast or if she comes for dinner or whatever she does, I'll give her some wet food with dry food mixed in it because I figured a little bit of the extra fat content plus you know everything hopefully she's getting everything she needs so whenever i give her extra i give her a little extra of the dry food and so um i did that and i went and i got one of the uh one of the kids blankets because they you know they have tons of blankets and quilts everywhere and so i got one of the blankets and i put it outside like right by the door um, it's so cold outside, guys. Anyway, you know, and I was telling Jim, I'm like, it's not like she's a bird and she's cold-blooded. So, you know, she's got to be cold out there. <sighs> it's all I ever think about, y'all know. Um, so I did put a little blanket down there and I set her bowl of food on top of it with a little extra dry food. And she did come and eat a little more of the dry food, but I think she might have left. I don't know. I kind of left her by herself and I just came back upstairs to work because, um, you know, I just, I wanted to know that I'm not going to keep trying to force her to come in that, you know, I'll talk to her. I'll try to get her to come in, but then I'll leave her alone. <laughs> so I haven't been back downstairs since then. And when Jim was going down there, I said, you know, please leave the light on for little sweetie unless she's left. Um, you know, I said, because she had stayed a while and I don't know if, um, if she's going to use the blanket or not. And I said, and if she leaves, let's bring the blanket in. I don't want to like leave it out there if it's going to rain or I don't want, you know, a wild animal to take it away because <sighs> it smells like our cats. You know, I was just, um, so anyway, that's today's adventures with little sweetie and, um, She's definitely at least well fed. We got we got that going and we'll have to just keep trying and at least she keeps coming back. I mean, I see her pretty much every day and um I only worry whenever I don't see her. So um so I'm okay. As long as I get to see her and I know she's all right, doesn't look like she's been in any fights or anything like that. She looks okay. <sighs> <laughs> then I'm good. Um, also, update on the trampoline. It's still there. Like, <laughs> the guy who owns it, like, the, the house that owns the darn trampoline has still not come over. So, I mean, I can only assume that they've, I guess they went out of town. or And then I don't know. I mean, the guy who lives right behind us or sort of mostly behind us, whose yard we had to leave it in. I mean, he hasn't even tried to move it. I, I don't know how he possibly could. I mean, you have to leave that to the owner because that thing is so broken up from being thrown all over. And how that even happened? I, I, I still, we're still kind of just going, because <laughs> like nothing else happened. Like there's no, it's not like trees came down or anything like that. And that suck I ain't light. <laughs> I could tell you it was it's heavy. Anyway, those are the updates in my life and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for sticking with me. Um and I hope you're still enjoying this. I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah.